Boys, welcome back to another video and today we are back with our very first FIFA 23 video on the channel and basically how this has come about is that I was on Footbin, I was trying to understand the new chemistry system and it's actually really easy, I, I think I learned how it works in about half an hour, if that. Uh, it's actually very, very simple, so if you don't understand it, I'll try and explain it as we go along in this video, but then I got to thinking like, why don't we start building some squads and, you know, see if we can get some good squad builders on the go, see if we can get some starter squads, because I know a lot of people won't be spending FIFA points and are going to need good, cheap squads early on. So that's basically what today's video is. I'm going to be building a starter squad. This one will be full chem. Um, I don't know if full chem is going to be that important on FIFA 23, to be honest. As long as you've got pretty high chem, you're probably going to be okay. But for this first one, I have gone full chem and I've tried to keep it as cheap as possible. So I guess we'll get into this thing. In goal, I have gone with Ant... Where is he? Where is he? Where are you? I have gone with Anthony Lopez. Basically just a cheap goalkeeper that gets the links that we need. Uh, he's nothing special, but he also shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, not a lot to say about him, really. Then over to the left back, we have gone with the Brazilian Ishmaili. Is Miley? Is that how you say that? I don't know. But he's transferred to Liga 1, and he looks like a pretty decent card. Obviously, these are the FIFA 22 ratings at the moment, so some of these cards might be slightly different on FIFA 23. But hopefully they stay at least similar to these cards, so that we've got a pretty good starter squad here. Then over to the centre-backs slots, and this is one that worries me a little bit because Jerome Boateng is another year older. If he stays at 72 pace, he's looking pretty decent, um, but if EA decide he's another year older, let's take away 45 pace, uh, Boateng might be quite useless. But I'm sure you can find replacements in Liga and that do what Boateng does anyway, but hopefully EA don't nerf him too, too badly just because he's a bit older. Then next to him, we have someone that could be a little bit expensive um, in the early game because he has got 83 pace, or at least he did on FIFA 22. That is Jason Denier. Looks a very, very good card. I don't remember using him in the early game, this FIFA, but if he's got a similar card again, I can imagine you're probably going to see him quite a lot as people try and figure out the chemistry system and stuff. Then over to the right back, and it is actually our first player outside of Liga 1, and that is going to be Di Lorenzo. Again, he's nothing too, too special. He just gets the links that we need for the rest of the team. He's got 84 pace, and he looks to be a half-decent fullback. And one more thing I wanted to mention, if maybe you're new to FIFA, um, is that I have completely avoided the Premier League in this start squad. And the reason for that is because of a thing called Premier League tax. Basically, what that means is players in the Premier League cost two, three, four, five times as much as they would if they were in any other league. Like Jason Denier is a great example. If this was a Manchester United card instead of a Leon card, he'd be worth three, four, five, six times what he will be in Liga 1. So yeah, like I say, we have completely, completely avoided the Premier League. Moving into the midfield, our first player is Zielinski. Basically, this is for chemistry, and I will explain it a bit later on, but when you get two players from the same club, you get one point of chemistry, and then three players from the same league, that gets you another point of chemistry, so on and so on. Um, so that's the reason I put Zielinski in. He looks like a very decent starter midfielder, to be honest. He's a very well-rounded card, and he needed to be in there to get the team to full chem. Then moving on to the next central midfielder, I have gone up with Rabio. Again, it's, more, it's a chemistry thing. Uh, he looks like a well-rounded card as well. Um, gets the French links, gets the Serie A links, gets the Juventus links. Is a very good card for chemistry this year. With the way the chemistry system works, cards that have got a good nation and play for a good club are going to be more important than ever, especially if they're in one of the top five leagues. And to finish off the midfield, we have Houssem Again, that is to get another French player in the team as that gives us another point of chemistry. And he just looks like a decent card in himself. Now, a lot of the Liga 1 players are already on full chem. As you can see, it represented down here by the three little squares. Um, and that's what Hussein Wai did. If we take him back out, the players drop back down to two chem. Again, I'll explain this a bit later in the video. But the chemistry system is pretty simple. And the main reason we have Hussein Wai in is to get this thing on full chem. So now onto the front three. And basically what I've gone for here is pace. Because especially in the early game, pace is so, so, so important. Because what most people tend to do is when they do get some coins together, they'll spend big on the attackers and kind of sacrifice the defenders. If it means they can get a better attacker, a lot of people will sacrifice the defenders. So having quick, pacey attackers is very, very advantageous early on because people just don't have the defenders to deal with it. So on the left-hand side, we have gone up with Bamba. Like I say, pure pace. I think he's four-star, four-star as well. So he should be a very, very decent 
Liga and uh, left winger to start the game with. Then over to the right hand side, we have gone with Chiesa for two reasons, really. One, he does look like a very good card. And two, when we add Chiesa into the team, you'll see that Rabio gets his third bar of uh, chemistry or his third block of chemistry. And that is because we got the second Juventus player in, which added us another chemistry block, basically. And to finish the team off, maybe this one will be a little bit expensive. I don't know. I don't think he will be because... Um, in the early game, 87 rated players are not really needed for any SBCs, as usually the SBCs are a lot cheaper than this. So in the early game, like the walkouts are usually pretty cheap. So that's why I've gone for a mobile to finish the team off. And as you can see, every single player in the team is now on full chem. If he is a bit too expensive, I believe, let me just check this, you could replace him with like Aussie men. Um, how am I spelling Aussie, man? Five minutes later. Here we go. It's something about six weeks to figure out how to spell it, but there he is. And yeah, you could throw in Aussie, man, and it would still get full chem if you want to bring the pie of the team down a little bit. But to be honest, I think you'll be fine having in a mobile. So yeah, this is what I've gone for for a full chem starter squad. I think it gives you a little bit of everything. Um, you've got pace going forward. You've got a solid, well-balanced midfield, as you can see, like basically across the board. All at least 70s. There is a few that dip into the 60s. 61 physical, 66 defending. But for the most part, you've got a 70s at least across the board midfield. And as for your defence and goalkeeper, nothing too special, but it's Liga and, uh, well, other than Di Lorenzo, it should be nice and cheap, except for maybe Denier, who could be a little bit. But even if he is a little bit more, he has got that 83 pace. He'll probably be worth every coin you spend on him. Okay, so now I'm going to try and explain the chemistry a little bit. Footbin actually does a great, great job of this. If you just go on Footbin and mess about with this yourself, you will very, very quickly understand it. Basically, it's on this right-hand side here. It shows you exactly how you're getting your chemistry. So we're getting a block of chemistry for having three Liga and players. As you can see, we have got five Liga and players in total, and that is giving us two total blocks of chemistry. As you can see, the first three counts for a block, and the second two players count for another block, giving us two from Liga Earn in total. But that wouldn't get the Liga Earn players full chem by itself. As you can see, that would only give us two blocks. So the way we've got all these Liga Earn players on full chem is we have filled up the Leon block as well, the first Leon block with Denia, Lopez and Boateng, although it only takes two of them. And the same with Lille as well for Ishmaili and Bamba. We have filled up uh, one of their blocks as well. So once you add the two Liga Earn blocks to the Lille block, that gives us three blocks in total, and that's how Ishmaili and Bamba have got full chem. That might sound a little complicated, but I promise you, again, it is very, very simple. Basically, you get a block of chemistry for your first three players from a league, and for your first two players from a specific nation or a specific club. To be honest, I don't know if I've done the best job of explaining this. Um... I'm struggling with my words here, lads. I'm struggling to explain how easy this is. I promise you it is really, really simple. If you are struggling, like I say, go on Footbin and just mess about with some squads and you will soon get it. It really, really is a piece of cake. But yeah, that is going to do it from me for this first FIFA 23 squad builder. Thank you so, so much for watching, boys. I really, really do appreciate it. Do you like the squad? Do you think I need to make some changes? Do you think full chem is going to matter or not? Let me know all your thoughts down below. I think here you've got a pretty solid starter squad. It's just decent across the board, you know. There's no real standout players. Even Immobile, he might be 87 rated, but he's not that great. Denier might very easily be the best player in the team. 83 pace centre-back. Just looks pretty solid all round. Could be a little bit expensive. Um, but I think overall you're probably paying maybe 25k for this team. Around 25k early days, I would say. Which I don't think is too bad at all. But yeah, thank you for watching, boys, and I will see you again in the next one. Cheers, boys.